Polydraw drafting film. I've never used it before, I don't really know what it is, and in today's video I'm going to be testing it and giving you my honest opinions on it. So with that said, let's get straight to the video. Now I learned about drafting film by some members of my free drawing community when they were using it to create some insane drawings. So I really wanted to give it um, a go myself. So we're just gonna open it up here, pull this out, move that to one side, and oh my goodness bit like paper. Oh my god, that is very thin. What the heck? It's like translucent. Look at this. This is funky. What in the... This is going to be interesting. Now it's probably worth reading the description on the front here. So it's a polyester drafting film, so that's why it feels quite plasticky, with a high dimensional stability, I don't really know what that means, which will not stretch under normal conditions, is virtually unterrible and will not yellow or age. That's pretty cool. It readily accepts pencil, which is good because I'm going to be putting colored pencils on this. Um, Indian ink. Now, does that mean I can put alcohol markers on these? We'll find out because this is a test video. Transfer lettering, I'm not too worried about that. And it can be corrected by plastic rubber or a soft sponge dipped in soapy water without distorting the film. So that's good, we can rub out mistakes. So yeah, let's get on to testing. Now, just before we get into the testing, I want to discuss the pricing. And this is by far the most expensive drawing surface that I have ever used, coming in around £1.50 per A4 sheet, which is kind of crazy. So I'm actually cutting these sheets in half so I can test on one half of them and still have the other half left to do a drawing on. So I'm gonna be testing out four things on this drafting film. I'm gonna be testing out graphite pencils, colored pencils, a rubber to make sure it doesn't smear everywhere. And finally, the thing I'm most concerned about, alcohol markers, because I have a feeling that these are gonna go down and they're not gonna dry properly and they're gonna smear everywhere. But let's test this out. So starting off with the graphite pencils, going in, oh my goodness, this is actually really cool. It's kind of like soft. You get kind of like cool feedback from this thing. It's going down well, nice sketchy lines, no problem at all. And my next test is I'm gonna grab the rubber and I'm gonna see if this can rub out. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's not smearing everywhere, beautiful. Right, so my next test is going to be colored pencils. So I'm gonna be using this blue and going down, straight down. Oh yeah, look at that. And because this page doesn't actually have any grain to it, it's going down super smooth. Look at this. The only you're getting is bubbles because of the texture of the desk. But if I put this like behind some sort of soft paper, you wouldn't get those, so yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Look at this. Beautiful. Right, moving on to the alcohol markers. Now this is the thing that I'm not too hopeful for, but let's try it anyway. Going down. Oh, that was cool. Down. Now am I just gonna, I'm gonna give it a second to dry, because you can kind of see it drying there. Give it a second, and... Oh my, <gasps> look at this. It doesn't smudge. Ah! I'm super excited. I have high hopes for this. So let's get testing on a proper drawing. So I'm going to be working on top of this smooth cardboard stuff that you get on the back of old sketch pads. This way we won't have any textures blemishing themselves in our pencil layer so that everything will look nice and smooth. Now in order to do this sketch, I was going to use the grid method by putting a grid onto this photo, then the same grid onto my film and then transferring what's on the photo to the film. However, I've just realized that the film is translucent, which means that I can just grab the photo and just slide it behind here. And then what I can do is I can just trace the photograph, because why not? So let's take away the picture behind and reveal our sketch underneath. It's just like so, look at that. Now before I could actually go and start coloring it, I wanted to firstly finish off the sketch, because you can see here in the alloys that there's still some bits missing. And once I finished this, I could then go in with a kneadable eraser, which unfortunately I forgot to press record when I did it. But basically what this does is I go over it in a dabbing motion to remove the excess graphite that would otherwise smudge during the coloring in process. And once this was complete, I could then go into the coloring in process. And I have to say, it was an absolute nightmare. You see, because the drafting film is made of plastic, when you go onto it with alcohol marker, the alcohol marker ink doesn't absorb into the sheet, it just sits on top. So it's really streaky and you cannot blend like 
at all. So I could only use like five different markers. So I used a lighter blue, a darker blue, um, one orange and two grays and a black. So actually six markers. And basically as soon as I went over an area with the markers again, it would just go like, oh, and all just mingle together. It'd become really dirty. So I guess the moral of the story is this thing is not designed for alcohol markers, but basically I started and I was like, you know what? I may as well just do the entire thing with markers and then I can cover it up with the colored pencil work. Now that was the theory, but it wasn't necessarily the case. You see, because drafting film doesn't have any two you can only put one layer of pencil pigment down and one layer of pencil pigment just isn't enough to cover up the marker base so those streaks were still showing through to the final result which was really kind of annoying. Now another issue with the fact that you can only put one pencil layer down is the fact that you can't actually blend the pencils together because what I do on normal paper is I use lots and lots and lots of layers on top of each other to create seamless blends between the darker and the lighter tones. However here once you put a layer down on top of this drafting film with pencils you can't actually go back on top of it because the pencils that you're going on top of the pencils that are already down have nothing to grip onto if that makes sense. So they end up looking really really blotchy and you can see examples of this all over this card drawing where I've tried to use my original drawing method of using lots of layers but it just has backfired and creates just really muddy messy gradients. Now a couple of upsides to the drafting film not having any grain is that the pencil work does look quite smooth because when you're working on normal paper you do have to use lots and lots of layers to kind of cover up those pencil grains however here you get it pretty much instantly. And obviously because you're not having to spend so much time doing lots and lots of layers as you normally would on normal paper, it doesn't take as long. I mean, I was able to pump this drawing out in just a few hours, so that's pretty cool as well. And another quick bonus with this paper is because it's not quite white, it's quite a light gray, is that when you use white pencils on top of it for the highlights, they appear really quite bright, which again, it's pretty cool. So that was a few cool things, but now back to moaning, because as soon as I took this drawing off the board, you can see here that the light is shining through it because it's obviously translucent and just making it look really washed out and just a bit trash. So here's my experiment with drafting film. And if I'm being honest, I think I'm just gonna stick with paper. I don't really see the point in this. It's like inferior to paper in my opinion, because you can't layer. The pencil work's just really blotchy. The marker work is really kind of like um, streaky. And yeah, I don't really get it. I'm probably using it wrong. And if you have any experience with drafting film, please just tell me the error of my ways down in the comments. And with that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one.